Welcome back guys to this amazing episode of Christianity over Islam with Sam Shemun and on this video, a Muslim try to reconcile Muhammad's belief in the Bible. Let's watch this amazing video to get more details. Sam, I'm a, I'm a Muslim, so I believe, I believe in the Quran and I believe in Sorry, Muhammad. Yeah. Can you show me from the Quran that, um, that the Old Testament, that as in Torah, is, is not corrupted? Can you show oh, me? Easily. Yeah, very easy. I want you to go to Surat Al-Maidah, chapter 5, verse 46. Then in the footsteps of the prophets we sent Jesus, son of Mary, confirming the Torah revealed before him. And we gave him the gospel containing guidance and light, confirming what was revealed in the Torah, a guide and a lesson to God-fearing. Okay, now this is also repeated in chapter 3, verse 50, Surat Al-Imran, where there it quotes the words of Isa. We we'll go to 350. Now I can read Ibn Kathir's exposition, if you want me to, but I want you to read the ayat first, chapter oh. 3, verse 50. So it says, And I will confirm the Torah revealed before me and legalize some of what had been forbidden to you. I've come to you with a sign from your Lord, so be mindful of Allah and obey me. Now, this is again in 61.6, where Jesus again is quoted, supposedly the words of Jesus, that he confirms the Torah before him. Now, literally, the word musaddiqan from sadaqa means to bear witness, to believe, to testify. And it says, musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya or yadayhi, between my hands, between his hands. So here, your Quran says that Jesus confirmed whatever Torah was there in existence as authentic and true, not corrupt. Now, that's Jesus. Now, let me add Muhammad to the equation. Because then I have a question for you. Now go to Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2. I want you to read 40 to 44. Uh, okay, uh, Sam, Sam I, I do believe that Old Testament, and uh, not Old Testament, excuse me, the Torah is uncorrupted. But I want to, um, but I want to help uh, my brothers also believe in that. So that's why I ask. I'm aware of these passages. I wanted to ask you a question about, uh, for example, always when I say this, they say, Yuhari Funa. There is a so they they attack me because I don't speak Arabic and they say that oh it's not so Yuharifuna means uh, changing altering the yeah, text but how do but, change? You but, but change. I'm saying exactly so I'm saying that's not a change because I believe what the Quran is uh, telling is that they are changing the context so the actual Torah is preserved that's exactly. what I'm trying yeah exactly. but you're exactly. confusing you you know? you're talking yeah I'm helping you very easily if you pay attention Thank because you. I will follow what you Whatever Torah Jesus had, he confirmed it and doesn't say that at that time they were changing anything. You're giving me some comments which are misinterpreted at the time of Muhammad, which we'll get to. But what I want to know is, since the Quran says, whatever Torah Jesus confirmed at his time, that was the uncorrupt scriptures of God. So historically, what scriptures did Jesus confirm that was there in existence at his time, where the Quran does not say a single thing about you harifunna, that they change anything. What were the scriptures? What did Jesus confirm? The, the, the Torah that we have now, right? Okay, so if we have historical archaeological data confirming that whatever books he had is identical to what we have today, then how can anyone come back and say, well, what we have today is corrupt. It's not what Jesus had at his time, what he confirmed. When the manuscript evidence shows that's a lie. He did confirm what I'm reading today. Yeah, and is that the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, Sam? Dead Sea Scrolls and then ancient versions, Greek, so on and so forth. The plethora of oh, exactly. manuscript evidence. Exactly. Um, so here's the thing. So I believe that these books can be reconciled together. That's what now, I believe. Jesus says in Matthew 25, 31 to 46. Yes. John 5, 22 to 23. He's the son of man will come with the angels, sitting on his glorious throne, who will bring the nations before him and judge all nations, sending some into heaven and others to hell. And those who will enter heaven, those on his right, whom he calls the sheep, he will say, welcome you, beloved of my father. So he claims to be the son of man, who's a son of God, who judges the world in righteousness, determines well they'll spend all eternity, who commands the angels and sits on a glorious throne at the day of judgment, the last day, and then says in John 5, 22 to 23, the Father judges no one, but has trusted all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Okay, guys, so before we continue with this, with the next episode of this debate, uh, the guy said that you show him where Torah is not corrupted, and then Sam Shaman tried to show him, and then he took him to Quran actually, and it was confirmed from the Quran where Jesus confirmed the Torah to be authentic and true. 
that it was not corrupted. And then Muhammad also confirmed the Torah to be true that it was not corrupted. If you're saying that the word of God, which is uncreated, can be corrupted, then you're saying that Jesus and Muhammad lie. And according to your religion, then you have blasphemed against Muhammad and you have blasphemed against Jesus. Let's go back to this debate to get more details. So you must honor Jesus the same way you honor the Father, for he who does not honor the Son, does not honor the Father sent him. Reconcile that with the Quran, which says that Allah has no son and no partner in his dominion, and it is Allah who will come with his angels, rank upon rank, to judge the world at the last day. But could it could it be said that uh, so Muslim? I, I don't know about others. So this is this is what I believe in, and I read it from the Quran that uh, so one of the signs of the hour is Jesus, peace be upon him. The and one that, of the, not in the Quran is he doesn't come at the last day to raise the dead and judge them and send some to hell and bring some into the kingdom. Because even the passage you quoted, 4361, it is an obscure passage that says, surely it is knowledge of the hour. 4361, he. it can also be rendered it. Okay, so, but even if we go he, it says he is knowledge of the hour. What does that mean? Or as some variants of the Quran says, he is sign of the hour. What does that mean? So when Jesus comes, we know the hour came. To me, this is, is this wrong? Okay, but where does that say that when he comes, he will sit on a throne, determine the eternal destiny of all nations when he judges them after raising the dead yeah, back to life that. send some to heaven and others to hell yeah i have never read in the quran but i i believe that i i know that i know that he will come and you know what i'm saying how are you going to reconcile that when the quran says allah comes to judge on the day of judgment not jesus he judges he raises the dead he will send some to hell and others to to paradise couldn't be that he does that through jesus as in through so, through man Allah? Can you show me where the Quran says he does that through Jesus? Oh no, I don't think. If, if that was in the Quran, then there would be no Muslim, right? And are you going to now worship Jesus the way you worship Allah? Oh um, no. I... Why not? He says you must honor the Son as you honor the Father. So how do you honor Allah? I, I honor Allah by following his commandments, what he says to me. Um, you pray to him? Um, Please don't expose me. I don't pray five times a day, but but oh, I, I try, I try my best. Do you pray to Allah or you been uh, yeah, Yes, yes, I pray. I pray to Allah and I try my best. All right, best. so now, do you pray to Jesus? No, I don't pray to Jesus. Why not? Jesus says, I, the Son, must be given the same honor that you give the Father. Do you believe Allah is the Father of Jesus, by the way? No, I don't, I don't believe um, he's, a, he's a son. But I'm, I'm sorry. This so is then just how are you belief. reconciling the Bible with your Quran when Jesus says he is the unique Son of God who is one with the Father, who resurrects the dead out of their graves? Do you believe that Jesus will resurrect the dead from the graves at the last day? Yeah, 100%, 100%, I believe that. You do believe he's going to raise the dead, right? 100%. Then you're a mushrik. You just committed shirk. And you're going to hell according to your own fake religion. Why? Because in Surah Al-Hajj 22, 6 to 7, it says, at the hour, Allah will raise them from their graves. Allah. But Jesus says in John 5, 20, 29, He, the Son of God, will oh. raise them out of their graves at the last hour. Okay. What the Quran says Allah does, mm -hmm. Jesus says he will do, and yet you believe that Jesus will do it, which means you just made him Allah, or at least one with Allah, and you committed shirk. Sam, could we, for example, you asked me how I can reconcile that? For example, when Allah said, like, um, I will free you from, from slavery in Egypt, for example, from the uh, pharaohs, I will free you from... What does Allah say in the Quran he will free them from slavery in Egypt? I, I'm not sure if there is a if there is a thing in the Quran, but I'm hundred percent sure. Like it, it, it can be in the in the Torah as well, where God says that I will free you, right? You can't use my Bible to bail out your Quran when I just. I, I you believe. I Bible believe in you. I believe in the Torah. Uh, yeah, but Sam. you can't believe it if it contradicts your Quran, which you're not listening, because your Quran says your Lord comes with his angels, rank upon rank, to the earth, 89, 21, and 23. So now I want you to confess, Jesus is my Lord, who's coming with the angels according to chapter 89 verses 21 to 23 so it says and your lord 80 okay and your lord comes to judge with angels and rank upon rank so who's your lord that's coming to judge with the angels it's it's my allah no it's jesus according to the bible which you're now going to reconcile so i want you to now say i confess jesus is my lord according to chapter 89 he is my lord who's coming to judge with the angels accompanying him i want you to say because i want you to be on record can, can, can't it be Allah coming with Jesus? Can't it be that? And you show me in the Quran where it says Allah is coming with Jesus, Allah is coming with the angels. So Jesus is one of the angels now? Um, no, I don't think Jesus is an angel. So I want you to say it again. Jesus is my Lord 
who's coming with the angels to judge. Sam, please, I, I, I can't say that. What, why? Well, well, no, but you reconcile the Bible to Quran and Jesus says the Father judges no one. So the Father whom you think is Allah, he's not going to come to judge. Jesus said in John 5, 22, the Father judges no one. He's given all judgment to the Son. I am the one who's coming to judge. Your Quran says it's your Lord who's coming with angels. So I want you to say, Jesus is my Lord who's coming with the angels and he is the Lord that the Quran says is coming. Say it. Sam, I don't believe that. Why Why do you make me say it? Why did you just lie to me and say you reconcile the Bible to the Quran and you agree the Bible and the Quran don't contradict? I didn't lie to you. I said I want to reconcile. I want to reconcile Bible with the Quran. Give it up. You cannot reconcile Muhammad with Jesus because Muhammad is Antichrist and Jesus is the true Christ and Muhammad's judge. Give it up. Come to Jesus. Enough of Islam. Sam, um, for everything, I want to thank you. I want to thank okay. you. For we'll everything. pray for you that you come to the truth because you're close, but not close enough. May you come all the way and get baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit and become a member of the body of Christ and our brother in Christ in Jesus' name. Hi, welcome back, guys. And that was a very, very fascinating uh, debate right there. The guy is sincere and I think he's having the routine being in Islam. And then he said that uh, San Shaman should show him the Torah if the Torah is not, how the Torah is not corrupted. And then he said that uh, San Shaman took him to the Quran where it was confirmed that Jesus confirmed the Torah to be authentic and true. And also Muhammad confirmed the Torah also to be authentic and true. And said that, is there any way for the Bible and the Quran to be reconciled? And he said, and Sam Shaman answered him. And Sam Shaman answered him by giving him this definite answer. And one of them is that uh, the Bible says God has a son, which Jesus is the son of God. And the Quran says Allah does not have a son. Allah does not have a son, which means that Jesus is not the son of God. And Jesus confirmed it in the Bible that he is the son of God. God also confirmed him when he yeah, John baptized Jesus and Jesus was coming out of the water. The voice came from heaven and said, This is my beloved son. In him I am well pleased. And God also confirmed Jesus to be his son. And then Christ, Christian believe in Trinity. Muslim believe that there is only one God. Yeah, and then on the day of judgment, Jesus will be the judge and in the Quran it says that Allah will be the judge, which is impossible to reconcile these two books and their beliefs we are different, our beliefs are different. Can you see the truth from this um this amazing debate? Let us know what you think in the comment section and also don't forget to share our video with your friends and your family so that they too they can learn also. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.